Hi, this is Matt in the ODOT CAD Services Office. In this video, we're going to look at annotating cross-section drawings using the features from your design model or models that you've already developed. Our office receives a lot of questions or support requests on this topic, so hopefully you'll find this useful. We'll start with the Bentley Open Civil Ideas Portal, some background information, and then show short how-to demos showing how these annotations how to add these annotations and how to remove them if and when something changes during the design process. We're going to use the guardrail and right-of-way features for examples for these examples but the same workflows will apply for other annotation groups like drainage and utility annotations. Adding annotations using the annotation groups is easily done with the ORD drawing model annotation commands. As of this recording, ORD does not have a built-in command or function to remove a spe specific annotation group only. There are a couple posts on the Bentley Open Civil Ideas portal for this removal functionality per specific annotation group. And you can see the link there to get to the Bentley Civil Ideas portal. These are two of the ideas that have been submitted. Both have similar descriptions for the same functionality. Once you've logged into the site using your email address for your Bentley account, you'll be able to click the vote buttons on the left for inclusion into for future releases. As far as the guardrail and right away features are concerned, I want to point out that L&D Volume 3 does not have any requirement to show guardrail in cross sections for plans production. However, sometimes there are various reasons that designers may want or need to do this to effectively convey their design. Also, Section 1310 does not specifically state right away and easements are shown, but it is a design activity noted in Section 1406.4.2 to add the right away lines to plan sheets and cross section sheets. In the ODOT ORD workspace, we did separate the guardrail and right-of-way annotations to their own annotation groups several updates ago. In the initial workspace releases they were included with the grid and slope annotations but as you know a lot of times when the cross-section sheets were initially created these features may not be ready to be added. Maybe the guardrail hadn't been designed yet or the proposed right-of-way had yet to be developed or they've changed throughout the design process as happens a lot. And users did not want to go in and remove the grid and slope annotations just to rerun the annotation group to add guardrail and right away in. With them being in their own groups now, you can add them without removing any others. Again, this workflow and workflows would also apply for the drainage and utility annotations or annotation groups that currently exist in our workspace. Here I am in my cross-section design file, uh, XS001 in this case. I have a couple of views set up that may look a little different than what you're typically used to showing, and I wanted to demonstrate sort of a best practice that I like to recommend, uh, and that is to show your, uh, or set up view one to, to display the 3D model, and that's because that's the model or that's the view that you want to control the level display for your uh, drawing models or your end, uh, and then in turn your sheets. So we set up view one. In this case it's showing the wireframe. The, the display style really doesn't matter. It's the level display is what you're concerned about. So here you can see I have my, my levels turned on and off the way I want. You can see in this model here I have um, some guardrail drawn in as well as some right-of-way lines. Uh, in view two I have kind of the standard view for um, the 3D model in this one is shown an illustration display style and you can you may notice that some of the level display looks a little different than than what's shown in view one and that's okay. In view three I have the plan view of my design and from the design model and that's really just more for a frame of reference as I'm working along here but also so that when I want to go and use this cross-section uh, navigator that pro opens this prompt here to allow me to cycle through the cross-sections drawing models in view 4 that I'm using here and that can be any view but when you load this in or when you pro uh, when you initiate this command it, it asks you to select a horizontal alignment so I need that 
in uh, from view 3 to be able to select it. So you can just use the back and head buttons to navigate through my cross-section models. So, so now let's take a look here to annotate the guardrail, for example, in my drawing models. Uh, you can see here, I, I have it drawn in my 3D file. I'm going to go here and I'm going to annotate the drawing model. And at the top of the tool settings dialog, I do have toggled on all drawing models. That means it's going to go annotate the same exact thing in every cross-section drawing model that I have. I do need to select the different annotation group. So here I'm going to select the guardrail annotation group. And then I'm going to data point to accept that I want it all drawing models and also accept that I want the guardrail annotation to be placed. So that goes and places that in all of the drawing models that exist. And as you can see when I move through here, I can see the guardrail cell that was placed to annotate those. So now I need to repeat the process for my right away. So if I zoom out a little bit, we can see this. And I'll go back to annotate drawing model. This time I'll change the annotation group here for the right away annotation. And again, I want all drawing models and I'm going to accept both that prompt and the right away annotation group. And you can see I have my proposed and existing right away on both the left and right side of my roadway here. And it's applied to all cross sections. So it's that simple to annotate or add an existing annotation group to your drawing models that already exist. Again, I'm only showing the guardrail and right away in these examples. But when we go back to the annotate drawing model in the ODOT workspace, you can see we have several other annotation groups that could be used. Uh, the different cross-section scale annotation as well as some drainage and sanitary call-out and detailed information as well as some utility information. Since ORD doesn't have the capability to remove a specified annotation group like mentioned earlier, we'll use batch process. If you're not familiar with batch process, you can find various resources in the MicroStation help docs, the Bentley Learn content, and various sources on the web. We're not, going in, we're not going to go into a lot of detail here, except for what's shown in the demo. The command line file will then contain a group of MicroStation key and commands to isolate the elements for each annotation group to be removed. Here's an example of the key ends used, which use the select by command to select the cells placed on the right away levels the first couple lines clear and reset the power selector for a fresh start so you're not grabbing any elements that you may have already had selected. Then set the select by settings to choose cells on the right away levels. And notice that wildcards can be used here for the level selection. Here's an example of the key ends used, again, which use the select by command to select the guardrail cells to be placed or that are placed on the RDP cells level. Again, the first couple of lines just clear and reset the power selector settings for a fresh start. Then set the select by settings to choose the cells that are placed on the RDP cells level. Notice each guardrail cell name needs to be specified individually. So you can copy and paste the entire section and then modify the cell name field. There are several ways you could configure these. So these are just examples. We've been hoping Bentley would add this functionality without having to use batch process so we wouldn't have to create these or some other uh, application or custom application that like we have for other things. But we're uncertain if that will happen. So uh, it's looking like we'll add these command line files to the published workspace in the future. Here I want to go in and remove the right away and guardrail annotations. So I'm going to load in batch process. In my example here, I'm going to load it from my search ribbon. And there's really two main things we need to do here is we need to define the command line file that's going to contain the key ins to select or isolate the elements that we want for each annotation group. And that's just a text document. And we need to add in the files to process in the list. So first thing I'm going to do is load in key and command or my command line file. And I'll start with the right, right away annotation group and hit open. 
If you wanted to edit this, you can use the edit command file. That would let you edit that command line file. And the next thing I need to do is add in the files that I want to process. If you have multiple files, you can run this all at once. If you just have one um, file like I have in this example, all I need to do is say add active file. If you add other files, you can do it through there. Once you do that, it should be listed as all models. If you needed to isolate it to just one or two models, you could add in those files multiple times and then select the drop down right here to select the model that you want to uh, to apply the command line file to. So now that I have this set, I'm going to um, select batch process batch process job and this is going to go through and look at every drawing model in my DGN uh, and select those right away elements and delete them. It also will look through any other models in that DGN, not just the drawing models, so you want to be certain that you don't have any random right away stuff uh, in any of the other models that may also get deleted. Here you can see the list of models that it's going to process and we can hit process here and just let that go ahead. Okay, so you can see that processed all of the, the drawing models as well as all the other models. Uh, none of those should have had any other right away elements in them that it would have impacted. So we can click done on that. Um, you can save this if you needed to or wanted to be able to just quickly return. These batch process files can be saved. They can also be edited within a text editor if you wanted to just isolate the drawing models only, which would make that process go uh, just a tad bit quicker as well. Now I want to go remove the guardrail annotation group and I'm going to process the same DGN file so I'm going to leave that the same but here I'm going to go select the guardrail command line file that I have. And then I'll click process uh, batch process job. Okay, now that I'm done here, I can close these dialogs and then load in the cross-section navigator again, locate that alignment. And here you can see the right-of-way and guardrail for each of my cross-sections has been removed. And then I could repeat the process with annotating. It's not the ideal solution that we were hoping for, but it is a solution that works with tools that are within MicroStation and Open Roads Designer by default and it does also allow for some flexibility and, and from the user standpoint and some ways to edit the command line file to do what you're looking for it to do and it also eliminates or does not have to have we don't have to have any special programming to do this with applications that might become obsolete uh, if this functionality gets added into the software at some point so hopefully that helps So if you need additional support from our office related to ODOT plans production or our ORD workspace, you can visit our Bentley Communities page or you can use our CAD support request form.